Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and die, issue number one! No, not that kind of die. Actually, this kind of die. You know, you roll them up and you play Dungeons and Dragons or whatever you're going to be playing. That's right. You keep them reading. This little freaking thing right here, you put the cap on tiny anyway, so just listen, check it out, all right? This was a mind-bending, amazing comic book, all right? I want to tell you about the people who made this mind-twisting, mind-bending, amazing comic book, and then I'm going to actually get to talking about the comic book itself. Here we go. So, Karen Gillen is the writer. Stephanie Hans is the artist. Clayton Cowles, come on on over. Getting a lot of praise in the back of the book, dude. Uh, and he's on letters. And uh, Rian Hughes does the, the design. So, oh my God. There's this dude who, it's his birthday, 16th birthday. They want to do some something really special and amazing for these kids, all right? So, uh, the one kid decides he's going to be a dungeon master, and he's going to, the game master, whatever, and he's going to have all these kids come over, all right? These five kids are going to come over, and the sixth kid, the, the game master, he's going to be like, listen, let's have a game. But he's going to make a new game. He's not going to play some typical off-the-shelf Dungeons and Dragons or Marvel Super Heroes Advanced Role-Playing Game System. You know what I'm saying? He's not going to be playing any of those things. No, no, no. He's going to make up his own game. So now the the premise for this was actually based off of the idea of the 1980s uh, Dungeons & Dragons cartoon that was out where there's like, you know, the, the ride, the Dungeons & Dragons ride and they go on the ride and all of a sudden they end up in there and they got they get these magical weapons and Dungeon Masters always just popping out of behind rocks and out of the Ranger's butt and stuff like that. Probably out of the Cavalier's butt, but you get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying. And it's like, hey, Avengers coming. You better kick some booty. You're going to get your booty kicked. Like, it's always something like that. You know what I'm saying? So that's what this was based off of. So they all get an individual die, all right? There's the D6, the D8. Uh, was there a D4? There, there was a D4. There was a D4 given, all right? There's a D12, D8, and the D20, all right? All these are given out. The, the Game Master keeps the D20. And they get transported immediately to this strange world. And they're gone for two years. All of a sudden, they appear on this this road. They almost get ran over trying to fly down this car. The one girl's got her arm missing. One kid is missing, you know, entirely. And like, oh, my God, what are you guys doing here? Oh, my God. Now, I've seen the premise for this comic book before, and I can't remember the name of the comic book. I thought it was Britannia, but I'm not entirely sure because I never actually read the comic book, heard about it. I was like, maybe I'll get around to reading it when I get back home, you know, because I was overseas when I'd heard it anyway. So I never actually jumped on the comic book. But... I'm on this comic book, and oh my god, listen, in case you're wondering how good this comic book is, okay, and you're not getting it from what I'm trying to say, because I'm, I'm still a little bit dazzled right now, I'm still a little bit like deer in the headlights right now, okay, usually whenever I do anything, I'm doing at least two things at the same time, all right, I know there's a lot of people out there who do that, maybe most people do that, don't know, don't care, okay, but... I'll usually read my comic books and I'll listen to a podcast in the back. Nothing comic book related because, pssst, you know what I'm saying? Um, why listen to somebody's second best when I'm here? <laughs> you know, but I'll listen, to some, I'll listen to my wrestling. And I was listening to a wrestling podcast. Sometimes I'll listen to something on economics. Sometimes I'll listen to something on the business world or I'll just go straight politics. All right. That's the kind of stuff that I like to listen to. And I've been getting into more of the lawyerly stuff, but not the point. I'm listening to like the most basic of the kinds of podcasts I listen to. I'm listening to a wrestling podcast, all right? Just this guy named Sala Monster. And the point is, I'm sitting here listening to this and I'm reading the comic book. And I had to turn off the podcast. I know, sacrilege, straight sacrilege. But the point is, I had to turn it off. I could not focus on two things at once while I was reading this comic book. This is an absolutely absurdly crazy comic book, man. Oh my God, this was deep. This was deep. And yes, these kids are in uh, London or someplace in bloody England, all right? Um, took me a while to be sure. I'm like, wait a second, why did you just make fun of that kid for being American even though he's not? Took me a while, but I get it now. So somehow these kids disappear for two years, two huge years, chunk of two years taking out their lives. And the one kid, he couldn't, um, he, he, he couldn't come back. He was gone. So now here it is, uh, 25 years later. These kids are all like 40 years old. They're in their 40s. And something happens where they get transported back to that world. And they find that kid. And I can tell you what happens next, but it's kind of creepy. 
but it's also kind of what I was expecting. The last page reveal is kind of cool. Look, let's just put it this way. This is one of those, kind of, how many comic books are you willing to buy twice, all right? Because I bought this on Comixology. <clears throat> I'm not satisfied with that. I gotta buy the actual comic book now. I gotta buy the physical comic book right now because I want this in my collection. I'm willing to put this in one of my boxes, all right? Wow. So I'm going back, and by the time that you probably see this video, I'll probably already have the comic book. Be like, hee hee hee. You know what I'm saying? Get it signed and all that good stuff. But holy crap. Holy crap. Straight up. If you are a Dungeons and Dragons fan, if you are a gamer fan, if you are any kind of a RPG gamer type fan, or if you just really like comic books that really off the cuff and just imagine if you got transported into this world oh this is the comic book for you straight up no lie no jokes broke no nonsense this is a awesome comic book i don't know how they can mess this up and damn them if they do this is a sweet ride go and check this out no joke all right guys professor bill comic book university i will straight up see you for issue two for this Bet on that. Class dismissed.